Testosterone and Enthate versus Cypionate, a muscular debate. When it comes to the heavyweight matchup between testosterone, enanthate, and cypionate, it's sort of like comparing sparring partners in the same weight class. They both have the same mission, to help you bulk up, but they do so with slight differences in their chemical structure that might make one a better fit for you over the other. So let's break it down. Testosterone enanthate is like that regular gym buddy you have. It's got a slightly shorter half-life, which means you'll need to catch up with it more frequently, typically every week. It's been around the block, widely used, trusted, and has a reputation for being slightly faster acting than its cousin. On the other half of the ring is testosterone cypionate. It's a little more of a homebody. Because of its slightly longer half-life, you might only need to see it every 10, 14 days. Some bodybuilders swear by cypionate because they need fewer injections, which makes it more convenient. But the difference is subtle. In terms of gains, they're virtually in a dead heat. Both will help you pack on muscle mass when paired with the right workout and diet regimen. However, best is a tough word, because what is Cinderella's slipper for one might be an oversized flip-flop to another. It can greatly depend on how your body metabolizes these compounds and what your specific objectives are. If we were to imagine a microphone drop moment for which one is better for massive mass, we'd likely not get one. The reason being that both are nearly identical in terms of what they do and how well they do it. They both promote muscle growth, increase strength, and help with recovery. However, since enanthate is reputed to be slightly faster acting, some might lean towards it for quicker results. Yet again, we are nitpicking at this point because the difference is not massive. The real talk we need to have here is on safety and responsibility. Using testosterone should always be done under the careful supervision of a healthcare professional who is guiding you through the process, ensuring your health isn't compromised. Getting back to the original question, neither of them is inherently better than the other when it comes to gaining massive mass. The best option really depends on your body's reaction to the esters, your specific goals, and the regimen your healthcare provider recommends. Boutiques, craftsmen, farmers markets, old school diners, they're all unique in their own ways. Same goes for testosterone esters. Here in Portland, we appreciate the variety and nuances that come with our neighborhood haunts and hangouts. It's no different with testosterone esters. The choice isn't one size fits all, and sometimes the best way to figure out what works is through a little trial and error, always within the bounds of medical advice and safe practices. So, lace up your gloves, consult an endocrinologist, and figure out which heavyweight works best for you. But remember, no amount of testosterone will make up for a lousy diet or a half-baked workout routine. Stay consistent, stay safe, and the gains will follow.